Hey family, welcome back to Lightworks. I hope that you are blessed and well. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. There will definitely be something here for you. If you are returning, hey so family, what's going on? I love you guys, I appreciate you. I'm so proud of all of you. I'm so excited about all that I've been reading about and I'm so very honored and humbled by the comments that you guys have put on the um, videos. Um, I'm so grateful to God that I am being used to help you on your path and that although we know this path is not easy, it's going to be challenging, difficult, it's going to be ugly at times, but we have each other and we are going to just keep keep doing it, keep healing day by day, step by step, okay, um, one foot in the grass at a time, okay, we're doing this thing. All right, so let's go ahead and take a few long deep breaths. Inhale positive life force energy. Exhale any stress or anxiety that you may be feeling at this time. Okay. Divine Holy Spirit, we thank you for another day, another opportunity to learn and grow. I call upon the angels, the archangels, spirit guides, guardian angels, divine beings of the non-physical, only of the highest white light, and divine ancestors, only of the highest white light. Please come in and connect with me now. Allow me to channel the, the current energies for the collective loved ones to reveal what needs to be known at this time. Let there be none of me and all of you. Please anoint and authorize every word that comes out of my mouth, most high God. Archangel Michael, we love you. We thank you for all of your protection. The peace that you give us that surpasses all understanding, knowing how you protect us from every thing, every dark intention sent our way. We are ever so grateful. Please protect our energy at this time. Close the door on anything that is not of the highest white light. And please encamp the angels of protection around us at this time. Please and thank you. Ashe. Archangel Raphael, please help us to continue to heal. And we love you and thank you for all that you do for us, helping us to heal, helping us to tap into the heart space and work on those things that we need to work on. We thank you. Ashe. All right, y'all. The energy that I'm picking up on and why I was guided to Jesuit channelings I feel like this is light worker energy tonight. I feel like someone is missing an important step. Um, bypassing something that has not yet been fully healed in you. But it's not for bad reason. I feel like it's so that you can step into service. I feel, ooh, as soon as I said that, my throat just got <coughs> clogged. So, hold on. There may be something you're being guided to to say something that needs to be said something that you've been holding on to that needs to come out but I feel like it's been avoided thank you Holy Spirit avoided and you've just 
decided to move on into your service, whatever purpose that you're serving as a light worker, okay? So let's see. Jeshua, call upon you. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides, divine beings, Jeshua, ascended masters. What messages do you have? Wow, when you put it like that, Holy Spirit. Wow. Exploring your inner wounds, okay? This is the energy. There's something that needs to be explored. Something that someone here has put a blanket on top of and just stepped into service, okay? So let's read this here and see what Jeshua and the spirit guides want us to know today. This chapter, ironically, wow, 77 is the page number, the number of divinity, okay? Holy Spirit is speaking today, y'all. From ego to heart, two, exploring your inner wounds, we distinguish four steps in the transformation from ego-based to heart-based consciousness. Being unsatisfied, number one, being unsatisfied by what ego-based consciousness has to offer you, longing for something else, the beginning of the end. Okay. These are the four steps of transforming. Step number two, Becoming aware of your ties to ego-based consciousness, recognizing and releasing the emotions and thoughts that go with it, the middle of the end. Number three, letting go of old ego-based energies inside. No, I'm sorry. Letting the old ego-based energies inside of you die. Throwing off the cocoon becoming your new self the end of the end and number four the awakening of a heart-based consciousness within you motivated by love and freedom helping others making the transition okay thank you holy spirit this is what has happened what i channeled just a minute ago is you wanting to step into service, bypassing something, okay? And the fact that this page that we opened it to is about exploring your inner wounds and having to go through these steps in order to fully transform effectively. And then this being your current energy, that's a clear indication that something here was missed, okay? Okay, what I'm feeling like is this is where you are. You're in you're in the helping others make the transition. You're already actively in your light working energy, okay? But this one is the what what I'm feeling here. Your mentality is telling you. Your mind state is saying, I'm already at the end of the end, so it's time to get into service. I feel like you feel as though you've let the old ego-based energies die because you're not in that energy. You've just simply moved beyond it. But I feel like what has not happened is the healing, the facing it, the understanding why that was whatever this thing is okay you simply said this is the end i'm not even going to stay in that energy anymore i'm not operating out of ego i'm not doing that thing anymore at all i'm not even looking at that thing i'm moving on and i'm just going to get into what i need to be doing and step into service it's such a beautiful thing because i feel like whoever i'm picking up on you feel like 
you feel like you're healed and you feel like a healer, okay? And you are. You are a healer. But there's something imperative about you going back to this step and actually doing these steps in a way that God has, is guiding you to, okay? So let's get into it to see what am I being guided to use for this message, Holy Spirit. We have the purging process. You may be currently experiencing emotional discomfort that is disrupting your inner peace. Okay. Vibrational match in the reverse. Okay. So this lets me know that you are being guided because you're not, and this is ironically 54 breaks down to a nine and 10 is here and this was in the reverse okay so this lets me know they're wanting you to go step by step we just saw one two three four steps okay then we have this purging process which is actually getting rid of everything but in order to do so you have to take a look at it all you have to actively heal that thing before it's released effectively okay and then you can become a vibrational match for whatever the purpose is you're meant to be doing now look at here behind that we have number seven step number seven stretch yourself okay it is time to move past your comfort zone into the unknown i feel like you did this you moved past it it was uncomfortable <laughs> so you move past it okay but there's something that you missed okay this big boulder here i feel like they're saying okay let's bring it on back because this is number nine number seven you gotta come back a little bit and let's let's start this thing over okay so let's see holy spirit holy angels what messages do you have for my beautiful divine loved one yeah, bumpy ride in the reverse. You're like, mm mm. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm good. This is like step number three, number 12, and it uh, and breaks down to a three. You're like, I'm not going all the way back to step three. I'm on number nine. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, false assumptions in the reverse, okay? This is in the reverse because you feel like you on point, okay? You feel like I'm out here, I'm already helping others heal. What are you talking about, okay? <laughs> and this is good. This is not, they don't want you to be in a heavy energy, okay? This is why my energy is like this. My guys and your guys keep me in the right energy to keep you in the right energy, okay? So don't ever think that I am making light of anything, Okay, this is not one of these frantic energies that I'm picking up on. This is you simply saying, I'm good. I'm just going to go over here and be of service to the most high, to the divine. You're you're being, you're being loved, okay? You're being celebrated. It's just like your guys are saying, you, mi you missed a little something. Let's go back real quick and hook that up. Let me help you hook that up. And then we can proceed back where we were, okay? So it's just like that energy. Healing cocoon of light. Okay, got to get back in the cocoon for just a minute is, your, is what your guys are saying, but it's in the reverse, okay? And I am I was energetically connecting with my guys to see if I needed to flip all of these back the way that they should be, and they said no. Okay, so that's why I'm not doing it. Otherwise, I would move things around, but they said no. So I'm going to leave it just like it is and see what's going to come out here. All right. And ironically, this is a 55. That's another number 10. But all the 10s have been in the reverse because we're not quite there yet, is what they're saying. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What does our loved one need to know today? They want me, they're saying there's three. What is the message? Holy Spirit. That's 
smack it. <laughs> I can't make it up, y'all. We just saw this vibrational match in the reverse, still in the reverse. They they want to talk about this. They want you to get to this place where you are a vibrational match. What else they saying? Go slower. Lightheartedness. Okay. That's in the reverse. That's a number 57. That breaks down to a 12, which breaks down to a 3. Okay. We just talked about the 3. And you're like, no. That's what I was saying. Like, I'm not going back to 3. <laughs> okay. So, lightheartedness in the reverse. Why, Holy Spirit? Okay, when I, I see the Three of Swords, it has something to do with heartbreak. Okay, so you bypassed something to do with matters of the heart, and we have heart here. Okay, yeah. And this is a three also, so Three of Swords, heart, There's one more here. What else, Holy Spirit? Dreams, 66, 12, which is also a three. Dreams, in the upright, beautiful. Your dreams may be more vivid and intense than usual. I feel like that's because your guides are trying to connect with you to get you back where you need to be okay there's something significant about step three ironically in the book what did i say this third step was where page 77 yeah that third step was where yeah number three the end of the end okay letting old ego based energies inside you die okay throwing off the cocoon we just saw the healing cocoon becoming your new self okay throwing off the cocoon meaning the the healing light i'm sorry the healing cocoon was in the reverse okay because you're not willing to get in there with your guides you're not wanting to go back to three you're like uh-uh okay you feel like you're already becoming your new self and you're at the end of the end already, which is why you moved to service, helping others. You skipped that step and went to four. Okay. There's so many synchronicities in this message. Wow. Okay. Let's get into it. So they wanted me to read this card first. It says, it is time for you to let your inner child out to play. Okay. With that Three of Swords energy left your joy. You replace that Three of Swords energy with service. Getting straight to work, down to business, okay? But God is not wanting you to be in service and be miserable, okay? God is wanting you to feel the joy, the happiness, the peace of service, okay? Right now, it's like... I'm seeing hard labor energy, like no fun, okay? You're not enjoying the service because your heart is completely, your heart, your heart chakra is completely closed off, whoever I'm picking up on. This like all business, okay? Green, again, in the reverse, heart chakra energy in the reverse, okay? vibrational match let's read this again you are sending out new signals that are bringing forward positive new experiences card number 10 completion okay meaning new beginnings okay it's in the reverse okay you're not aligned with your dreams you see how the dreams is down here and the vibrational matches up here 
you're not in alignment with your dreams you're not a vibrational match for the dreams that you once had i feel like you may even be in your dream job now or you may be doing what you've always wanted to yeah thank you holy spirit oh my 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 okay they're saying you could be doing what it is that and you could be in your purpose but it's not fulfilling you you're not enjoying it because there's the alignment is off okay this is beautiful though because this is an easy fix okay i won't say it's an easy fix but with vibrational match being lined up right next to your dreams once you do this healing work you're going to be very happy okay not many people get to do exactly what they want to do in this way okay not many people go right into the purpose that they have after dealing with this three of swords this this card is heavy over here okay but you were blessed enough or god guided you or you listened to the divine enough to still step into your purpose that's why i'm saying this is going to be you're not you didn't get thrown off the path thank you holy spirit i wasn't using exact right words okay you didn't get thrown off the path of your purpose now that is that's what the beautiful thing is okay many times when we go through these tumultuous experiences we are completely thrown off okay for what i'm feeling coming off of this card so much so that you don't even want to think about it ever again you just wanted to just move away from it let's get let's clarify They're wanting, which is odd. Okay, they're wanting me to clarify this card with this deck here to see what type of energy we're dealing with over here because this card is really surging. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, a Don Juan. With that card running out there, I feel like Don Juan, Knight of Wands, energy. Somebody did you dirty. Yeah. Am I taking this out? Wow. There's so much sadness off of this card. I in, immediately started getting sad, like feeling the feeling in my stomach, feeling like I want to cry. You could be feeling foolish for engaging with this person. Look at this. I mean, feeling like I want to cry. Look at that. I'm telling you, this energy is thick over here. Okay, they don't want anything else from this book. Okay, am I getting tarot? What do we need? Yeah, they want tarot. For me to turn this deck back around and still get this four of swords, I mean four of, uh, four of swords, <laughs> healing, okay? That's not by accident. Four of four, protection, okay? Also, Thank you, Holy Spirit. This came out in the reverse initially because, like I said, this did not hold you back from stepping into your purpose. You're in it. You're in your dream purpose or you're headed there. You're very close, okay? Very close for it to come out. This is beautiful, okay? With the world card, okay? Let's see. Okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. You're very close to closing out this cycle. We have the 10 out here, but...
but it's just in the reverse, okay? So let's see. Holy Spirit. I don't like this over here, though. I kind of keep it all the way real. I do not like that energy. But justice is here. There's, there's something here. Honestly, y'all, trying to avoid the energy that I'm picking up here. I just saw myself just shuffling. Didn't I say Knight of Wands? This person, whoever this is, they did something dirty to this divine one. I almost, you see me scooting this over here. This, I, this person, this person is dirty. Whatever they did to you that has you, it's almost like the energy of being so hurt that you're just numb and speechless. What is Don Juan and Knight of Wands, Holy Spirit? Why is Don Juan and Knight of Wands here? I'm hearing you played me. See how this person is like playing with this lion? Played me and walked away. The strength card. I heard you played me with this card. Strength card. Could be a Leo energy. This person could have played like they were an emperor or made you believe they were, but they were a knight of wands, a Don Juan. Death card. This, this was a divine orchestration for this to come to an end. This is your energy now. You ain't playing. You ain't got time to play. You don't want to hear nothing about no inner child. You don't want to laugh. You don't want... You are stoic is the word that they're giving me to describe you. You're in service. You're doing what you need to do, but it's business. And God is not pleased with that. God is... Um, let me not say God is not pleased. When I say God is not pleased, God wants you to be happy. God wants you to love what you're doing, to be excited about what you're doing. God is not, it's like the way that you're going about it is like you're made, you're being made to do it. You're being forced to do it. It's not how God wants you to feel. Although you're very good at whatever this is, you're sharp, you're smart, okay? But it's just cutthroat business. They're wanting you to get a little bit more Queen of Cups-ish more in the loving and, and as soon as I said loving my heart just really like fluttered okay ain't no love is what I'm hearing no love somebody's heart chakra is completely closed okay their guy they're saying wear green ironically green here okay green you might want to wear green, do some heart chakra meditations and envision a lot of green, get out in nature, green, okay? Um, that's going to help you 
connect with Archangel Raphael. Okay, what else do I need over here? I want to get out of this. I want to even clear it. What else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, this this part when I tell y'all, Seven of Swords, sneaky lion, cheating, Decepticon energy. This person was dirty. Five of Pentacles left you out in the cold. Have you in this stoic energy? When I'm, I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to tell you, my loved one is in this. I wish you would energy. I feel like you are in this. Uh. Ain't no love. You don't want to heal it because it's like you don't want to feel it. I'm like, ever again, this type of energy, like, you just don't want to deal with love anymore. That's the truth. That's the truth. Ace of Swords. Okay. Let's get one more for the, yep, you bought your bag. You're like, mm -mm, heart what? Let me get over here and get to business connect with my guides i feel like you are connecting with your guides but i feel like when they're nudging you to get to go back to these steps you're just like mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. but i'll be of service i'll be great at it i'll help humanity but mm -mm. okay one more for this energy and then we're going to clear it because this person is doesn't matter we're going to just get out of this what else for this dime wine energy holy spirit page of swords this person is still somehow watching you and you're like I wish you would page of swords Something about this page of swords. Okay. There's something that's ongoing with this connection. Whatever this person did, it might have some type of legal ramifications connected to it. You could you could be taking action against this person in some type of way. This person did something really, really bad really bad what's the page of swords holy spirit why am i picking this up off the page of swords why am i picking this up holy spirit what is this page of swords third party four of cups conflict Why am I here in family? Yeah, the Ten of Cups here. This person did something with your family? Oh my. Yeah, we got the Seven of Wands back there. You're very guarded and defensive with this person and every person. Did this person do something with the collective's family? I'm hearing that strong. Is it with somebody's family? What is this, Holy Spirit? Yeah, this person offered love to your family and had you really messed up. Oh my goodness, yes, confirmation. And it's more than one. It's more than one family member. We do have three people on this card. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So it's not just, yeah, it's not just this person. It's the people that did it too. In secret. 
that has you all in your head and you're like, nope, I'm just getting over it. I'm about to get to get busy, go get to work, works for the divine. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, whoever you are. I'm so sorry. This is, this is messed up. Yep, there you are. And that's why you're like you are. You are you don't want to hear it. So I feel like this the heart chakra is just because it's like anybody can get it. You're like, I, I wish you would. You're not willing to open your heart. I know because it, the healing process of this can this is I told you I felt the three of swords before we had anything out here I knew it and this is heavy because it's not just like a relationship like a I don't know if this was a marriage or if this was just a relationship I feel like it was a marriage oh my goodness Oh my goodness. Holy Spirit, was this person married? Yeah. You were married to this person. My goodness. Okay. Loved one, I'm so sorry that this happened to you. And just know, just know that God is with you your divine angels and ancestors are with you. I feel like you already know that. But I feel like you're going to be so much more effective at what you're doing. You're going to have a testimony that's going to be a blessing to so many people. And you're going to be happy again. This is the main thing that God wants for you. For you to be happy again. For you to find joy in life again. Okay, life is not all about you only being of service to help others, but for you to be happy and for you to help yourself as well and allow your guides and the divine to help you. Okay, so let's see what we need to do for this vibrational match. Holy Spirit, what is our loved one? I mean, I already know us for a source energy to heal, but let's see what else is going to come out for vibrational match. What does our loved one need to know, Holy Spirit? Okay. This is the divine saying, we are committed to you, to working with you, to helping you get to the place you need to be. All it takes is a little small effort from you to connect with us, for us to help you, for us to love on you, heart chakra, green heart chakra energy, to get you to where you need to be. Also, there is something coming in for you, a divine partner, a new partner, the partner that is meant for you is here once you open your heart and become a vibrational match for all the blessings. There's gifts for you. There's a lot coming in for you. Okay? A lot hidden that God can't reveal until you are in the vibrational energy for it. Okay? Your world is going to change drastically. Okay? manifestations abound I'm hearing okay your dreams all of the dreams not just your purpose what you have manifested will be able to come in because you will be in the right vibration for it when this vibrational match is in the upright there's so much good thing there's so many good things waiting for you okay but you're 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 fighting against yourself five of swords energy 
by not wanting to heal this broken part of you, okay? And I understand with this energy over here, I can see myself also, what did I open it up on y'all? I can't make this up, Four of Swords. Four of Swords, the healing. This is my healing meditation and prayer card, okay? Your, your world is gonna change the minute that you heal. Wow. Okay. Now I was saying, I understand my loved one. I understand. Okay. This is a lot. I wish I could just energetically throw this energy so that y'all could feel what I feel over here. Okay. And I understand there's no way. <sighs> I won't say no way, but it would take a lot for me to sit in this and long enough to heal it, okay? But you can do it. We got the strength card out here. We got the strength card out here. They know you're strong. They know, I mean, listen, okay? Like I was saying, somebody that was not as strong as you would not have stepped into purpose. Someone would step into retaliation, revenge, Okay, clap back energy, doing something to hurt somebody in some way. And, and I'm not condoning that and I'm not authorizing that. I'm not suggesting that. So don't drag me in the comments or don't think I'm going off on that. But the energy that's over here would make somebody want to hurt somebody. Uh, that's just plain and simple. That's just what it is because this is a lot this person did and your people did. Okay, so... I'm saying all this to say, I understand the reservation. I understand why you just wanted to just connect with God and get busy. But there's so many beautiful blessings in store for you. I can feel the energy, the the difference, the the polarity in these two roles here is is just unbelievable. It's just unbelievable, okay? There's one word that they want for you here. They're showing me judgment because this, these people, my goodness. The actions that need to be taken with the Knight of Swords here on this situation, on these people, God is handling that, okay? And God is just wanting to give you opportunities to move on and go elsewhere, okay? Look at this. God knows what happened. God knows what they did to you. I can't even, I can't even begin. I feel like you saw something, okay? This is what I'm picking up off of this car. You saw something happening here. Yeah, you did. Oh, my. Okay, we coming out of that. What else, Holy Spirit? Oh, boy. Okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. I was a little nervous there for a minute. <laughs> I was a little nervous there for a minute. Okay, these two fell on the Knight of Cups. So I feel like there is, there may be two offers coming in, one from a King of Cups and one from an Emperor. Both of these are falling on top of the Knight of Cups and the Nine of Swords, okay? Hmm. Or the divine, which is maybe showing up as the emperor, is trying to bring in a king of cups for you. It could be both. Okay. Holy Spirit, what what else do we need? Oh, this is this. Okay. 
This is a part of the many gifts that God is trying to bring in for you. New partnership, many blessings in the form of monetary blessings, okay? All of the love and healing that you need, the rest and peace with the Four of Swords that you need is all coming to you. Stability, financial security, divine partnerships what they're saying this is coming up again because god is saying this has to be healed okay this is just a blanket that's been placed over it that's why god can't bring in this four of wands two of cups to you this king of cups energy to you and just put it on top of the ten of swords this has to be healed for swords energy you've got to go back to these steps that we saw in the book. Let's get something for dreams, Holy Spirit, please. Why is dreams here? Did y'all see that flip over? <laughs> you're already in it, like I said. You're already, this is so awesome. You have no idea, but this is your energy while you're in it. The Holy Spirit is speaking. My goodness. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are in your divine purpose, what you're meant to be doing, but you're not happy. You're just doing it. And God is like, absolutely not. This is what you've dreamed of doing. This is what you've desired, but this is your energy. How can it be that I'm going right back to the Queen of Swords, y'all? I hope y'all seeing this. Okay, God is speaking. <sighs> Holy Spirit, quick communication. This is your guys trying to connect, okay? Trying to give you this message, okay? <laughs> they are trying to talk to you about this work, okay? Look at you. Work, 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 okay? This person does not look like they're happy. Okay, they're content, they're getting it done, but they don't look happy. Okay, <sighs> Holy Spirit, what else for dreams? You have been through so much. You are so wise. Okay, they're giving me so much off this card. You are sitting here. You're in your purpose. You're doing what you need to do. But look at the Empress close up. Okay. This is a content face, not a happy face. And I never even looked this closely at this card. Okay. Now, the Empress is the Empress, okay? Is the Empress. But you, my love, are not happy. You are just... They said split it. This is you. This has you bound, but you don't realize it, okay? This is you on the outside, okay? When it comes to your destined path, thank you, Holy Spirit, okay? You are nurturing kind and loving to others that you are in service to while you're in your destiny fulfilling your dreams okay but this empress is not happy you are bound by that ten of swords three of swords energy over here okay that left you high and dry that did whatever they did to you okay what you manifested 
for your destined path, you're in it. Okay, you are in it. What's the final message for dreams, Holy Spirit? You're still holding yourself back from all of this here because the healing has to be done. It has to be done in order for you to be a vibrational match for it. Your guides are saying, work with us. Let us help you to heal so that you can really walk away into this completion energy, this number 10 energy here, okay? They're waiting for you, your guides, three of wands. They wanna bring in justice for you. I feel like, oh my, oh my, oh my. Okay, what I'm seeing now is some type of cord that's connected still to this person. There's some type of connection that you have not released, although you've moved on and stepped into purpose. I feel like justice is not gonna be sent karma is not going to hit these people until you're no longer connected 100%. In order for you to really cut cords, you got to do this healing work. Otherwise, you're somehow still connected to these people in some type of way. And that's why justice has not fully hit these people and karma hasn't fully hit them. This Five of Pentacles energy, I feel like until you do this, once they, once you do this healing, okay, you are not, this Five of Pentacles, you're not going to be in that energy. It won't hit you. What else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, you got to look at this. You've got to do this healing work. This is like the devil energy still has you bound. Like I said, this energy, whatever this low vibrational energies did to hurt you, it's still sticking to you. They're wanting you to move in another direction and that's the direction of your healing. Okay, this is God speaking to you. This is your divine beings, your higher ups, your higher consciousness guiding you to this healing. Okay, let's get some advice. Archangels wanted to speak. Holy Spirit, holy angels, archangels, divine beings. What is the message? The Holy Spirit is truly speaking. I split the deck and look what's here. Ironically, a number 12, which is another number three. We are back where we started. Yeah, gots to go back to step three, okay? I love you. Embrace your life purpose. I am guiding you toward your divine life purpose. Whatever makes your heart joyful is what you're meant to be doing. Whatever makes your heart joyful. Didn't I say that God only wants you to be happy? Wants your heart to be filled with love and joy, okay? God loves you so very much. And this is your life purpose. Embrace embrace it. This person is sitting down doing what they need to do. You're being guided to journal. Journal out those emotions. Write them folks a letter. Cuss them out on paper. Y'all know how I do it. 
If you got to cut some out on paper, cut some out on paper. Get yourself a safe burning bowl to burn that in. I'm seeing you doing that repetitiously, okay? Because this is going to take a while for you with, with what you've been through. Do that until you actually start to feel it, the anger dissipate, okay? But what I'm hearing for you, you're going to have to journal even to build up the energy to reconnect with this situation. That's how embedded this is in your soul. So you're going to have to start journaling even to get back to that place, okay? But God wants you happy, okay? Let's see what else the angels and archangels want you to know. self-care you do so much for others <laughs> it is time for you to experience the love you deserve and let others help you is the Holy Spirit not speaking what did I say you are already helping others you are already being of service you are already doing it but God is saying look at all these hearts around this person God is wanting you to feel the love you guys still get this heart chakra working like it's supposed to be, okay? 40, 24 breaks down to a six, okay? Balancing your energy, your chakra, a lot of chakra work to be done. I'm hearing your root chakra is like overactive, okay? Root, root chakra talks about uh, being grounded in earthly matters, working hard, pinnacles energy, earth sign energy, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. I don't know why I'm being guided to say that, but you could be one of those or you could just, it just, this could just be, you are just rooted and grounded in this work. You're about the business, okay? And it's overactive okay so there's a lot of alignment that needs to be done okay the sacral chakra is also very active you're ambitious you're driven you're i feel like the lower chakras are pretty well uh or overly overly active okay but it's the heart chakra the throat chakra Heart chakra, throat chakra, Holy Spirit. Those are the two primary that are really way, way, way uh, out of balance, closed off. Okay. This says, yes, you are correct. You have listened to your inner guidance and made a wise choice. Keep moving forward. Okay. This is what they're wanting you to do. 38 breaks down to an 11, which is also about alignment, okay? I just finished talking about alignment, so I feel like they're saying, yes, this chakra balancing that I just talking about, yes, that's what they want you to do, okay? Alignment, 38 breaks down to an 11, two of wands energy, two of wands energy. <laughs> I can't make this up, Holy Spirit. <laughs> Choose wisely okay get in here let's do this meditation don't be no fool now okay get this healing work done because this whole row is all blessings that god intends to bring in for you once you get this vibrational match energy flipped around okay there's so many blessings coming anything else holy spirit yeah they want to get you a couple more Archangel Michael. Okay. 
Archangel Michael is coming forward. What do you want to say, Archangel Michael? Yep. Archangel Michael, 33, okay? Ascendant Masters, Jeshua. We read the book, okay? They're stepping up now to talk to you. Be patient and have faith that your angels have this situation under control. What will come is better than you dared to dream. What will come is better than you dare to dream. Look at this row. I just finished talking about this row of all these blessings that God is trying to bring in. Contingent upon you being willing to heal this situation, okay? But look what happened. Ironically, I didn't cover this side up with all of this beauty, okay? You're prioritizing your self-care. You're aligning yourself, okay? What is this? Seraphim, Seraphio. Tune in to the divine will. Open to higher illumination. Chakra. You see all of this? And notice the one that I said was overly active are not here. Red, root chakra, not here. Root chakra, <laughs> although it needs alignment, these are the ones that, that you need to... Blue, throat chakra, green, heart chakra, okay? Chakras, open to higher illumination. Open up and see what they want you to see so that you can get into this four swords. Archangel Bach P. It's time to fly. Listen to your intuition. Okay, why? Because I feel like you're getting a lot of nudges from your ancestors and spirit guides. A lot. Okay, with honor your feelings here. I'm trying to tell you. Haniel talks about intuition. Archangel Haniel is about discernment and wisdom. Okay, intuition, intuition. Thank you, Haniel, for supporting me as I honor my emotions. Okay. They're wanting you to tap into your emotions, okay? you. I feel like you have not been tapped into your emotions. They're guiding you to really, really connect so that you understand how much this situation has been pulling on you and how to get you back into alignment so that you can step into this spotlight you see this number three again? 30, that breaks down to a three, okay? This is the last message they're guiding me to pull out. It says, you have a message that the world needs to hear. Did not say the throat chakra is significant. It's time to share your wisdom, okay? It's time. They want you to be in this spotlight, okay? We saw the star, I believe, okay? If not, your manifest state, yeah, we did the manifestations okay it's time okay come on into this healing cocoon and let them love on you and help you get to the place where you need to be i love you family i really hope that this message has helped you if so please hit the like button share subscribe and join the family i would love to have you if you are in need of a meditation check the lightworks goodie bag if you are in need of a read, um, check the description box. And if you are feeling inclined to donate, that information will also be in the description box. Peace and blessings. Ashe.